Jefferson Engineering, booth 1027. I'm David Josephson, and Dave Gordon and Kelly Kay are the other two uh, owners of the company. We're happy to be at the AES and answering questions for uh, GearWire and friends. The others in the Series 7 are the 700A, which is that capsule again, but in figure eight mode. Uh, and the capsule above it is an Omni. And so it comes out in two separate outputs. You can make any pattern you want by mixing the Omni and the figure eight. There is the stereo version of that. Same thing, figure eight, Omni, and an additional figure eight that points side to side. So you can use this to make the M side of an MS. There's the S side. Uh, we had a big um, uh, demonstration this morning on uh, stereo surround, single point surround microphones. Of course, when you have, look at this and you think about it for a bit, this is the same as a lot of uh, surround ambisonics. There's the W sand channel, there's the X channel, there's the Y channel. Without any decoding or any uh, matrixing, it is, uh, you're able then to synthesize any pattern pointing any direction, uh, which is quite um, uh, flexible because you only need to record those three channels in order to derive any kind of a, an intensity stereo or surround uh, a pickup pattern. Uh, then there's the rest of the, um, of the Josephson line that people have seen for a number of years, starting with the C42, which is a sort of general purpose cardioid, um, stainless steel for the singles and black for the matched pairs of C42s. The E22S is our uh, close-in um, uh, cardioid for that is side address. It was originally intended as a uh, drum microphone where it would come up of the side of the drum and point into the drum head. Uh, it's very rugged for that. It's also been found a lot of application in other, uh, any sort of close-up uh, pickup where you want to have a very uncolored pickup of spot of one instrument and any other leakage from any other instrument needs to also be uncolored and that's what it's specifically for. The 617 um, shown here in our EA21 shock mount is um, basically the best Omni that we know how to make. It is a 200 volt metal diaphragm instrumentation laboratory microphone capsule which is actually made for us by Mikrotech Gefell in Germany. Uh, and the body uh, accepts standard 40, 48 volt phantom, but generates 200 volts for the capsule. So you can buy it together as a set. You can also use your own old B&K or Echo Pacific or Larson or Grass or anybody else's instrumentation capsule just screws on the top of that. Um, and then our lower cost uh, instrumentation measurement microphone is the C550, uh, useful for all kinds of uh, uh, sound measurement, uh, speaker, form, speaker testing, room and out, room EQ, things like that. That's, uh, that's basically the lineup. All of our products are made by the crew of people that you see in Santa Cruz, California. Um, these housings are made in uh, San Jose. These are made in Santa Cruz. All of these parts are made very much locally. All of the capsules and internal structure are made by us or our machinists, typically within about 10 or 20 miles of our shop. And uh, that's not necessarily the most economical way to do things, but unfortunately at this level of, of quality, we have to have much more control than we can do by sending it out to anyone else. So what we don't make in-house, we supervise uh, at uh, precision machine shops locally. That's, their, that's why we're different. The 715 and the 716, are they application specific or are there certain applications that they're designed? They're fairly generic studio microphones. The 716 